Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to upgrade the SSD of this laptop, which is almost full, into a new SSD, which is one terabyte. Now, what I wanna do is clone everything from my old SSD, files, folders, settings, softwares I use, going to the new SSD. After cloning, swap in the SSD and the laptop will be up and running. This video is sponsored by ESAS, so we are going to use their software to clone from my old SSD going to my new SSD. Stick around and see how I'm going to do it step by step. All right, first up guys, we need to make sure that we get a compatible upgrade for our SSD. So I'm going to open up this laptop so that we can check on the hardware, the quick specifications that we can uh, upgrade this one to. So that's the SSD, I'm just going to unplug it, then bring it closer to you guys. This is PCIe Gen 3 four lanes. So I, what I need to do is just get a bigger size than this SSD that I have here, all right? So I'm going to put it back to the laptop so that we are going to do the cloning. All right, as quick as that, I don't need to put the screw back because I'm going to open it later, all right? So here you go. This is the upgrade. It's one terabyte. That's 970 Evo Plus Samsung. And the second thing that you need to get is an adapter so that we can plug the SSD through a USB port and clone everything. So I'm just going to place this one inside. The adapter I got here was Orico. So you, I'll just place a link on the description below if you want to check this one out. I also made a video of this, so you can check my previous videos about this external adapter. So I'm just going to cover it up. And then of course, that's how quick it is. I'll go ahead and plug it to the laptop. All right. Next thing we need to do is power up this laptop and start the cloning. Jump inside, then search for that ESAS partition master that I already installed. Then there are several things you can do here with the software, data recovery, backup and restore, remove duplicate PC transfer. But what we are going to do is clone. So I'm just going to go ahead and start now. It will start its engine and automatically detect the hard drives that are connected. So first you can see there is this disk one, that's the one terabyte that I just plugged in. And then of course the first disk zero is the active operating system that I have in my files. All right, you can see the button up here, it's this clone, just click it. And then it's going to um, ask you the source, which one you wanna clone. So of course we are going to clone disk zero. Okay, and I'm just going to go to next. Then you're going to say target for where we're going to clone it, which is disk one. Then of course, I'm going to go for next. And then this is the next thing that's going to happen. Now, before I'm going to click proceed, I'm going to go camera capture here because if you are cloning, make sure that there are, there are no other programs that are open to disrupt the cloning. So that I'm going to close my screen recorder and other things that I have there open, except for the ESAS partition master, all right? Here we go, I'm recording via the camera. So once I click the proceed, take note of what's going to happen. It's just going to show a lot of logs of what's currently happening and will show you the progress uh, percentage, uh, how much is done. Now, since I pressed that proceed, it took me 28 minutes to complete the full cloning. All right, so Imagine if you are going to reinstall your operating system to the new hard drive, install a lot of applications, back up your files, or even um, relocate the files in folders that you backed up. And by cloning, you can just simply save time doing that. Now, by the time you press that proceed button, you basically don't need to do anything else. Just go ahead and grab a coffee and wait for it to be done, all right? So like what I've said, it took me around 28 minutes, but it depends on your laptop or your PC. If it's faster than mine, then it could be more faster, all right? So we can jump into 100% right here. Then it will show you this pop-up window that's going to give you a guide on how you can change the BIOS settings. If you have multiple drives, then you need to set up the new clone drive as the first one, which is going to boot up. But in our case, 
I'm just going to swap in the new drive inside so I don't need to change any setting. Okay? I'll just go ahead and click I know. So it's going to finish up. Then it's going to show you some ratings if you want to rate it. But for now, let's just go ahead and skip this one. All right. So this is the clone drive. I've unplugged it already. Then let's go ahead and remove it from the external device. I'm going to turn off the laptop so that we can exchange it from that old drive. Shutting down. I did not screw this one, so I'll just remove that SSD. All right. I'm going to place in the newly cloned drive. Plug it. Then don't forget the heat absorber or what we call a heat sink. Screw the one. There you go. Cover it up. I don't need to screw it right away because we're going to check. If everything's done, then I can screw it. Okay, good sign. It's booting up. Yeah, cool. Once the, there are no errors here, it would be perfect. Yeah. Quick and easy cloning with ESAS. Well, of course, first thing we need to check is, is everything okay? Okay, so when I open my browser, I have my profiles there, which means we're doing great. At the same time, the screen recorder OBS is already installed also. That's the one I'm using with my old drive, it's there. And then if you try to check my drive right here, that is 930 gigabytes, nearly one terabyte, okay? And I also did try to check Premiere Pro and Photoshop, <laughs> they're already there. And even my projects on Premiere Pro that I'm doing, they're still intact, okay? And of course, the files, location of the folders, where I save the, the settings, all of those things are intact. Well, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, you can drop a comment down below. And I hope you learned something from this video, guys. I'll place a link on the description below on the website of ESAS, the sponsor of this video. And at the same time, my video on Orico, the external device, so that you can check it out if you want to grab one of it. So once again, thank you for watching and see you in my next video, guys. Bye.